Today we are watching a rivalry you are probably not aware of. Thanks to Reading forward Harvey Nibs, we are attending Reading versus Oxford. Previously a Cambridge United player who helped the club survive last season. Harvey, Harvey, yes, Harvey, yes, Harvey, Harvey, yes. The Thames Valley rivalry, a fixture which hasn't been played for 19 years. And today we are witnessing it for ourselves. I was two the last time they played. The more I look on social media, the more I actually understand and realise how big tonight is. 19 years the last time they played. That's just ridiculous. I do just want to point out that it's half 12 in the afternoon. Why does it look like it's about to be 8pm at night? And here we are then. This is Reading. Here we go. I am very early, so I have no idea what to do. But nevertheless, this is going to be a tasty one tonight. With Reading and their tennis balls recently, you know they're nutty. I'm just joking, by the way. Uh, you've already got the police hiding in their vans. They're scared. In fact, they're terrified. They're... I'm so early. What am I doing so early? I don't really know what to show you in Reading. Like, I'm that early. I have no idea where to go. Well, here's a town all for you. There you go. But that is literally it. Um, I, I don't know what I'm doing. I mean, you got some nice lights on here. You got a M&S there. I mean, what else do you need? Oh, hello. What have I found here then? I feel like I'm at Winter Wonderland. For some reason, this rings a bell as a shopping centre. I can guarantee you I'm that type of person to walk around for hours and come away with nothing. <laughs> And it's already going off. Tell you what, this is absolutely mental. There's police everywhere you look around in. Every corner, there's a police officer somewhere, or groups of them anyway. Just look how many are about. This is a joke. Come on, then. It's a big night, mate. What are you thinking? I'm confident. For the first time in a while, I'm actually confident. It's going to be fiery, in it? Go on, then. How much does this mean to you, then? Oxford's a big one. We haven't... 20 years of Thames Valley Derby's not existed. Right, that's why I'm so excited for tonight, because... It hasn't been played for ages, 19 years. Gonna go for a 2-1. Right. We never we never keep a clean sheet, that's a, that's the Reading way. Never keep a clean sheet. Nibsey and Sam Smith on the score sheet, yeah? Exactly my thought. Come Nibsey on, I, I like, like that, I like that. Shushing the away end. <laughs> Stands there like this. That's it, that's, that's it's, it. It's literally written in the stars, that's gonna happen. Time has passed and behind me is the stadium. Harvey Nibs has absolutely sorted us out. We got a ticket and we're going in the players lounge as well. Here we go then, look at that. Here we go. Honestly, cannot believe it. So we've literally got a whole place to ourselves right now. You've got the TV on, you've got absolutely everything around here. I'm not complaining, Nipsey has absolutely sorted us in here as well. It's just all clear. I mean, we are two hours early, but nevertheless, yeah, it's good to be in here before before game, especially in this weather as well. Yeah, I'm, I'm so thankful. But I will be chilling here for the meantime, I'll tell you that now. I thought I'd come out a second. This is where all the fans are. You've got food stalls here. We just had a nice chicken burger and chips. I am absolutely buzzing for this game. You do not even understand. Right, so we're in the players' lounge, thanks to Harvey Nibs. And I'll tell you what, the reason why I'm today. Harvey Nibs, Sam Smith, former Cambridge players. So I'm with a Cambridge fan, of course. Lives in Reading. How are you doing, David? Very well, thanks. How are you, George? Yeah, Roy? very well, very well. What do you think today, then? Um, I think it'll be a good game today, actually. Um, Oxford have come off the board a bit, so uh, hopefully Reading can get something out of the game. Um, I want to go for a two-all draw. Lots of goals, and I'm sure lots of action at both ends of the pitch, mate. I'm still waiting for the prediction of Sam Smith and Harvey Nibs to score. Goals will be Harvey Nibs and Sam Smith. There you go, that's what I want to hear. <laughs> David's daughter, Amy, how are you doing? Good, thanks. Prediction today, big game. 2-1 Reading, one goal Harvey Nibs. She knows, Harvey Nibs is scoring today. Oh, here we go, oh my God, this could kick off bad tonight. Here is literally all the Oxford fans. And on the other side is Reading. This is going to be mega. I can already tell this is going to be a good, good, good. Oh, we've got padded seats as well. They're even up there as well. This is a new thing this season. Oh my God, we've got a perfect view for this. Also a padded seat. Oh, look at that. you got a little bit of padding anyway. But here is the gaff. It's a good stadium to be fair. Now this could kick off big time tonight. It's not even a big separation to be honest. Oh, I'm excited for this one. Kickoffs in 10 minutes. I still find it crazy, but the last time they played was 19 years ago. That's just crazy. Here we go then, Reading versus Oxford in League One. It means everything for these two sets of supporters, Harvey Nibs and Sam Smith starting. I so hope they perform and get the win tonight. Oxford, I've got massive respect for them, but you want Reading to win tonight. Harvey Nibs, Sam Smith, I hope they get on the score sheet. This is going to be tasty, I'm telling you. So let's do it once again. We go then we're on the way. Big, big, big matchup. Could there be a chance on? Go on, left foot. Sin oh. Sam Smith! Oh my days! I thought that was gonna be the moment. Ball's in there. Oh, he's just missed. That's a big opportunity to make a one at Oxford there. 
be fair, they're in fine voices. Good away, fans. I'll tell you what, Sam Smith could be through it. Go on, my friend. Nipsey. Oh, no! That was a big moment, you know. That was a big one. Caught the ball. Come on, the boys. Like, I don't want to be too biased towards one side, but when it's Sam Smith and Harvey Nibs, you got to back him. This game needs to go. I'm telling you, 25 minutes in, needs it. Here we go. This could be it, you know. Oh, still in there. Still in there. Oh, my days. That's it. Nah, the deflection. I don't know how he blocked that, but it did. It's a corner ball, Reading, but if it wasn't for that defender, that would have been 1-0, Reading. And it's 1-0 to Oxford. It's a good ball in and it's a good header. To be fair to him, it's a really good ball in, good header. Seems an hour away, my word. But you'd expect that on Derby Day. And supposedly there's a tennis ball which actually came from the away side. It was good scenes, I must give it to him. So Smith! Yeah. Oh my days! You can't write it! You can't so Smith! I told you! <laughs> you can't write it! Come on the boy! Look at that, it's all going off up there. Come on! Tennis Look, tennis balls are now onto the pitch. Look at that. The tennis balls are on. Ah, oh, Sam Smith scores, Pyros! They're on the barrier. Come on, mate. Come on, the boy, mate. This is what it's all about. That was an instant reply and just what Redden needed. Someone's getting nicked up there. Oh, God. Wow, man. This is what it's all about. I said it needed a goal to wait the, wait the game up, I guess. Oh, these guys are up here. Look, look, they come down. Think they're going to give it all and they've actually got a barrier in, in front of them. Right, okay. Clever. Really clever. Look at that, though. Come on, then. I'm so happy Sam Smith scored, man. I'm so happy for him. That is absolutely brilliant. 44th minute, 1-1. One, one. <laughs> run the whole pitch here. Takes it to Nibs. Oh my God, if it was a little bit lighter. If that was a little bit lighter. Oh, Never mind. Oh. Now that, now that should be in. Oh, me, oh, me, Nibs. Oh, me, Nibs. Oh, me, oh, me, Nibs. Half time. What an end to the first half. I'll tell you what. I thought it needed a goal, it got the goal, and then the second one came after that, the equaliser, Sam Smith. We are back out for the second half, and I think there's a penalty. Someone just said penalty. Oh no, it's free, free, you, you're, you're joking me, mate. Okay, we're back out, and there's a free kick to Oxford. I'll tell you what, not much has really happened this second half, if I'm honest. This is kind of reminding me of the first half of the first half, but I tell you what, I think Reading take a point there. Oxford, they're looking to push for that 2-1. I'll tell you what, it could be a chance for Reading. 82nd minute. Is he going to shoot? He shoots straight at the keeper. As a moment there, if they could have worked out a little bit better, that could have been a good opportunity. I'll tell you what, this, it's not looking good if you're a Reading fan. They're going for, oh, that's a tackle from Neves. That is a tackle. I'll tell you what, that could have been goal saving, I'm telling you. But I must say, it's been a fantastic atmosphere today. From your away fans, from the home fans, it's been great. We're into the 90th minute, six minutes is added on. I just don't think it's gonna happen for either side. It looks like it's been a draw. They come up today in the 90th. <laughs> Tell you what, that was absolutely interesting. I, I was waiting for the ball to hit the, hit the back of the net there. That could be time up. Yeah, he's gonna blow. Full time. 1-1 one, one here. I'll tell you what, the game in the second half wasn't to be, to be fair. But the atmosphere from the home fans to the away fans, it was good. Just look at the players. You know they put everything into this one. They're all knackered. Sam Smith, the goal scorer. Really, really good. Really good. And he's clapping the Oxford fans, and the Oxford fans don't like it. He used to play for them on loan. 